hello guys can you check this application out when we click the button the color changes likewise the test too okay so let's see how to do that without wasting my time let's begin thank you very much let's begin by creating two folders now so i'll see folder called the first one assets then call the second one components Now let's do the first one access. Now on this project we have no spinners or images, so let's leave it blank. Move to the next one and, and create a file and call it main page. So inside that we see array FCE. Instead of ordinary div, why don't we use React or fragment? So inside that we have a section, a div with a pay tag to say hello. Let's leave this main page to the app.js to view on the screen so we go to app.js then call main page here okay, now let's import main page good so let's check our screen if we got hello great you can see guys we got hello on the screen it means we're ready to go now it's mobile first so let's take position good now we're ready so what do we do now let's close the app.js then inside this div tag we need a button okay so we just take the p off and write the utt one button there and the button let's give the class name so you can just bring it down here and give it a class name okay so the class name we say what px20 py10 bg blue 700 test through excel capitalize font bold text white and rounded lg so you can see our button is ready now instead of hello we need what click me so let's change that to what click me good so our button is ready now what do we do next now i want to send out a button okay so to do that let's go to uh i prefer to use this uh, custom css to always do my center so i just come here and say so we just say that what send it then inside that we can say display flex justify content center and align item center good now what do we do with it now let's go to main page we need it over here we need it over here so over here we can call give it a class name here a class name then we say what let's give it height uh, screen then it is called our center class okay so let's check it out you can see guys our button is now at the center page okay so that is that we're good to go now what do we do next now let's create a state to handle the use state okay so we say come on use state so what do we do here inside here we can now say what so we say const change color comma set change color equals use state and initial value let's give it false now what do we do we need to create uh this thing how do you call it and on a click on the button okay so over here we come here down and say what give me what on a click then inside uh, let's call it handle click okay so we create a function for the handle click so over here we can say function for what handle click okay so inside that we can say const that handle click equals to a function then inside that we say set change color to bracket not change color okay so that is that let's check it out okay so nothing happens okay so what we're gonna do next is to make now give it a condition that when it is true what should happen okay so to do that right now look at the class name the class name is what static 
so we need to make the class name dynamic so that we can add the condition to it so over here we change the take the uh, quote off and introduce the bracket this one take the code off and introduce the bracket then inside the bracket we call the dynamic code now this is down the escape button okay mm -hmm. we go there and call it dynamic code then good so dynamic code is ready so inside that we give the dollar sign then we create the bracket now we can put our condition here so our condition we can say that what if change color if change color over here if changing color equals what true what do you do if it's true then give me the class name what bg green seven word okay otherwise so we continue the otherwise within the column otherwise give me a class name what bg blue seven word okay so we can go to the blue bg blue here then take it off oh, sorry take this off good so now when we click you realize that the background color changes you can see guys so that is that now we can even change the uh, test color too so if it is true give me bg blue and give me the uh, test uh test what test red test what red 500 check this out you can see guys so cool so that is that you can add more class names to it whatever you want to do with it it's up to you so that is that guys i think we're done finally let's check the responsiveness it is responsive so that is that guys thank you very much for sticking to please don't forget to do good catch you in the next one we say peace